These are only a few of the ones that are actually appearing, some of them being used at the moment on set. But um, her main weapon of choice is actually the katana, which is a Japanese sword. Uh, it's used throughout the actual witch's hammer. So from the martial arts side, we actually use this called Shinai. It's a practice Japanese sword. And because of its flexibility, we can actually go really hard with the actual training. So they get the correct moves and the correct body postures and everything else. Instead of using the sharp blade. And then we move into the, the sharp blades or dull blades to actually finish the, the scenes off. Uh, it makes training a lot easier because you're not worried about people getting cut. Um, we use um, the screamer sticks. They're actually used with the vampires and witches, which is one of the opening scenes that we've got. And when it breaks apart, obviously that's what we actually use these bits for. They're really fast, really easy to use. Uh, the other thing was a long staff, which is, this one's a tapered staff. It's six foot, and we've actually marked it with these markings to match other weapons that we've used. This is also used in the same, same scene. Um, from that, we've got the short staff, which is a Joe staff. It's only four foot. It's been marked up as well. And one of the things that actually happened during the scene was when it was supposed to have been broken, somebody was a bit exuberant and actually broke it. So it just goes to prove that our training was hard, it wasn't just play acting. Um, all the people that I've trained so far have really worked hard on the set. Cloudy has taken the most training with about 60 hours worth of work. And she's, well, she just gets back up, not a dance, she just gets back up. Let's do it again. Okay, it wasn't quite, let's do it again. She wants to do it again all the time. Beat him up, Claudia. Okay, here we go. And action! <laughs> Here we go.